Hello, my name is Ashley Dougherty. I'm here with HawaiiShopaholics.com, and I want to help teach you how to shop easily at the commissary. So commissary is also known as DECA, the Defense Commissary Agencies. There is four different commissaries um, on the island of Oahu. So the commissaries are on Pearl Harbor, right next to the Nets. There's one on Hickam. There's another one in Kaneohe. And there's one uh, on Schofield. Um, things you need to know about the commissary. First and foremost, the commissary does not allow you to stack coupons. The commissary does not put out any commissary store coupons. So all of the coupons you find in the store are actually manufacturer's coupons. How do you know this? So a good key that you can use for any store is whenever a coupon in the fine writing says, mail this coupon back to, and it has an address, that coupon has to be redeemed through the manufacturer to get refunded to the store you're redeeming at. So it requires a third party. Stores, when they have store coupons that they allow you to stack or even, you know, just let you use store coupons, they're never going to have that address because a store is never going to waste its resources to mail their own coupon back to their corporate office. So the biggest key is always look for that address. If there is an address on there for the retailer to mail it back to get refunded, that means it's a manufacturer's coupon. So in the commissary, you're going to find military store coupons. You are going to find coupons that say military coupon. You're going to find coupons that may say commissary slash exchange coupon. All of these coupons will have in the fine writing an address to be mailed, which means it is a manufacturer's coupon. Also, when I'm saying manufacturer's coupon, this means that you can also use coupons that you get out of the newspaper, printable coupons that say manufacturer's coupon on it, and so forth. Um, the commissary does not take any other store coupons, so you can't go there and use store coupons. The commissary does not allow price matching. Um, another thing to talk about at the commissary is that they have a 5% surcharge. They do say it's tax free, but do remember that there is a 5% surcharge. So it's kind of like a tax. Um, in Hawaii, the sales tax is less than 5%. So let's say you're going to the store and you're buying 10 to 20 of something and you're getting a good deal, but it's the same price as it is out in town you might do better going out in town and buying it because you're in, you will end up paying less in tax surcharge. Um, in addition, remember that the commissary have, has baggers. These baggers, you need to tip. Um, so if you don't want to tip them, go ahead and bag your own products or go through self-checkout. Um, Another thing to talk about, the commissaries. In Hawaii, the commissaries do not have actual sales flyers. Um, the mainland commissaries do have sales flyers, and sometimes the Hawaii stores will have the same sales, but it's not guaranteed. Um, so you can't really go by that. That's also commissaries.com that has the advertised sales. They do not apply to Alaska or Hawaii. So it's kind of a bummer. However, sometimes the sales just kind of line up and it's the same deal in Hawaii. Uh, the next thing to talk about is let's say you go to the store and you see something that's an awesome deal and you have a coupon that matches to it. However, the product isn't on the shelf. That is okay. You're going to go to the front of the store to the cash cage and you can place a special order. When you place the special order, it usually takes about a week to two weeks, depending on which vendor supplies the product, um, to receive the product at the commissary, and they will give you a call back. When you place the special order, all they need to know is the UPC number. The nice um, new little digital price tags on the shelf has the UPC number in the upper left hand corner. It's a line of numbers. You're not going to miss it. It's really small. It's a whole line of numbers. It's like 10 to 15 numbers depending on the UPC. And you just need to take a picture of that, go to the front and you know tell them you want a special order, however many products. Um, 
For the quantity, you can order up to three units or 36 products, whichever hits first. So let's say you were buying, you wanted um, deodorant, but that particular deodorant, it was six to a case. So they're only going to allow you to get three cases, which would be 18 products. Um, and then you can use your coupons when it comes in. If your coupons were to expire before your special order comes in, you can just tell the customer service you do not want them anymore. You're not going to get charged for them. They'll just hold on to them until the next sale comes out. But remember, coupons and the sales all have cycles. So it'll come back around. Don't get your feelings hurt. Um, it, it will come back. That deal will be there again. Um, the next thing to talk about at the commissary is there are many coupons now, especially like Procter & Gamble coupons, that say no cash back. So if the product is less than the coupon value, your coupon value will be price adjusted down um, to the actual product's price. The next thing is that some coupons will say up to, whenever it says up to, that coupon will be price adjusted down to the price of the product, or if the product is more, you will pay the difference. Um, if the coupons do not say no cash back, they do not say uh, up to, and you are allowed to get the full value and your product is less than the value of the coupon, you will get the full value of the coupon. If you were just buying that one product and it was giving you 50 cents, the commissary will give you the 50 cents back. If you are ever owed $25 or more, you will get your money back as a commissary gift card. Uh, for me personally, I try not to ever get cash back because there's so many products we buy on an everyday basis that we do not have coupons for, or they're very rare to come around, like milk, um, you know, cheese coupons, like we eat a ton of cheese in my house, lunch meat, um, any kind of meat products, we eat a ton of it in my house, so I try to use it, my overages for that or produce or whatever it is. Um, the next thing to talk about at the commissary is people always ask me why when they go to the commissary on the 1st or the 15th, a.k.a. payday periods, it seems like nothing is on sale. The prices are determined by the vendors, which are the people who supply the products to the commissary. They know when the military gets paid, and they also realize that this is the time when they make the most money. So they take all their products off sale. And at this time, as couponers, since we want to save money, we should start training ourselves to not shop on payday cycles. So we want to shop off payday. So if you can shop three days prior to payday or three days after. So kind of give yourself like that five day window where we steer clear of the commissary. The commissary has case lot sales. Case lot sales are these wonderful cases, kind of like Costco shopping, bulk buying. And let's say we go there and they have ragu sauce and it's a six pack and it's all sell you fame together. The six pack, um, you can use a coupon per product within the case. So if our, we have a coupon, it's a dollar off of two, we would be able to use three of those dollar off two since there's six products in that case. Um, they will allow you to do this. This only works at the commissary case lot don't try to do this at any other store because they don't allow it. It only works here. In addition, sometimes you can find like dial hand soap or um, any kind of other hand soaps and it'll be like an eight pack of them. And a lot of times there's like dollar off two coupons that are floating around. So then you would be able to use four dollar off two coupons for it. Also, when you go to the case lot sales, if they have coupons there that are military store coupons, they may tape it on there and they may tape several on the case. And you're like, why do they have three of them taped there? And it's because that's what they allow you to do. If they ever have factored into the sign a coupon already used, but you have a higher value coupon at the case lot sale, you can use your higher value coupon, but you just need to make sure that you're calculating before they actually do their coupon savings, okay? Um, and you would tell them at the register, well, I have a higher value coupon, I wanna use that instead of yours. Um, 
think that's really it. I'm trying to think. Um, the commissary does not issue rain checks. The commissary also has a rewards card. Some people prefer this paperless method of loading coupons onto your card. One thing I will tell you is to verify the other coupons that are available to you, so maybe print, clip from the newspaper, because a lot of times the other sources will have higher value coupons than the ones you can load onto the commissary rewards card. Um, another thing I would like to tell you about the commissaries is all four commissaries in Hawaii on Oahu do run different sales. So you could go to Hickam in the same day and then run to Schofield and then Kaneohe and you're going to notice all three of them have different products on sale. And it's just because that's how they run it. Um, they have no rhyme or reason of how they have the sales in Hawaii and there's no way to ever tell. So it's important as couponers and as a coupon community that we share the deals we have. You can go into the Hawaii Shopaholics Facebook page and you can post your commissary deals on there so others can know. Um, you can also go into the Hawaii Shopaholics Facebook group and it's just Hawaii Shopaholics group if you're looking for it in Facebook. And you can go ahead and share your deals in there. It's a lot of fun. Um, I try to share my deals when I have time to set up my nice commissary trips just to help you know what to look for. Um, to shop at the commissary, it is very important for you to be organized since we don't have those sales ads to shop off of. So make sure before you go to the commissary, you really have yourself organized and ready to go and look and hunt for those deals. Okay, that's all I have for shopping at the commissary. Thank you for listening. Check me out at hawaiishopaholics.com.